Hello guys, how are you? My name is Matos Domingos and this is another very special video for my YouTube channel Brazilian Around the World. Today I'm gonna show you this place. It's really nice, very historical. It was uh, an old military headquarters and now it's a museum. There's a lot of activities going on in this place, so it's called Sesc Arsenal. So let's have a look inside, okay? The decoration of the Sesc's entrance floor refers to Brazil's victory during the war and the cannibals were placed on the floor to symbolize the victory over Paraguay. Located here at Rua 13 de Junho or June 13th Street, the old war arsenal was created in 1818 by order of Don João VI and it served as a military establishment for the repair and manufacture of weapons. According to the royal letter, the space received the name Rio War Train during the government of Captain General Francisco de Paula Machesi. Wow, this place is really beautiful. As you can see, there are this beautiful garden. It's one of my suggestions for you when you visit Cuiabá. This place is really awesome. We have a library here. Let's uh, have a look inside. Currently housing several types of arts, from dance to cinema, the Chamil Boldrus Nadaf Cultural Center, as the Sask Arsenal is officially known, offers free or affordable courses to the entire population of Cuiabá. Inside this place they have a shop so you can buy handcraft materials from indigenous people. So they have a lot of things here as you can see. But yeah, yeah, it's worth, it's really worth it to come here, you know, visit and of course yeah, buy some souvenirs for you to take back home. This place is awesome. They even have like a cinema room. That's really nice. The construction started in 1819 with neoclassical traces 
The construction was inspired by works from Portugal, which were characteristic in the country. 13 years later, in 1832, the inauguration took place as the war arsenal of the Capitania of Mato Grosso, and it became a symbol of the Brazilian nationality and demonstrated the determination of the armed forces of our country. The place was used a lot during the Paraguay War, which started in 1864, and it was considered the biggest armed conflict in South America. Paraguay invaded Brazil through Mato Grosso, so it was necessary to have a war arsenal to store cannons and war equipment. In 1872, the place became a specialized school for repairing weapons. In 1889, it was used as a gunpowder factory. In the 20th century, in 1950, the place became a corporate supermarket for the 5th Construction Engineering Battalion. In 1989, the FEComércio SESC Senac Mato Grosso system acquired through an exchange with the Brazilian Army. The old building, which is a testimony to the culture and architecture and neoclassical style that mostly characterized the official buildings in Rio de Janeiro. Nowadays, the place is considered a state patrimony and it was declared a heritage site. After major renovations which respected the historic preservation and the technical needs of each cultural activity, the war arsenal reopened its door to artists and the population in August 2001 as the Sask Arsenal Activities Center with beautiful spaces for the leisure of the Society of Cuiabá. So I'm going to tell you the story, I'm going to interview the ambassador from India and I'm going to show you a little bit of a play, so they're going to show a, a, a little bit about the life of Mahatma Gandhi. So the actor José Signorelli is playing, you know, this character, so I'm going to, to show you a little bit of what's going on here, okay? Take care. Os bares, os rios, as florestas. A sua única saída será procurar uma criança muçulmana. Hello, guys. Um, it's a uh, very very special night. I'm so excited because it's the first time that I am talking to an ambassador. He's from India and he's gonna, you know, I'm gonna ask two questions for him. So, how long have you been living here in Brazil, Suresh? Uh, I've been living here for 18 months. 18 months? Oh. But I feel I've been living here for my lifetime. Wow, it's that's nice. Such a beautiful country. Ah, like such I said. wonderful people. Wow. And my 18 months has really flown very fast. So how long are you going to stay here for? I wish I can stay here forever. Uh, <laughs> but you don't know how long you're going to stay here? Not sure. Not sure? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope you can stay here for a long time too, because you're yeah, yeah. such a nice person. <laughs> Estou aqui também com o Zito Adriano, que é o secretário de turismo também. Zito, muito obrigado pela oportunidade. Prazer aqui receber o nosso embaixador mais uma vez. Uh -huh. um quase cuiabano. Ali, quase cuiabano já, né? E estamos aproximando cada vez mais, né? Uh -huh. Já estamos aí com dois eventos fantásticos da Índia, né? É, que estão aqui expostos. Que legal. Eu tenho certeza que vai ser um sucesso, como sempre, né? A Índia aqui em Cuiabá. Com então, certeza. Seja muito bem-vindo, sempre Obrigado. <risos> Já viramos muito parceiros, né? E vamos estreitar é. mais essa nossa relação. relação. Né? Is there a meaning for your name in your language? Yes. What uh, does it mean? Suresh means bright as a sunlight. Bright as a sunlight? Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> beautiful. So you want to stay here longer in Brazil and uh, what's the best thing about Brazil so far that you 
say about our country? I think the people. The people. You know, it is uh, easy to say the people, but uh -huh. in reality, the people are really special. Oh, they that's have nice. uh, yeah, such an cool. open heart. They uh -huh. welcome all foreigners as friends. Uh -huh. They welcome them into their family. They welcome them into their house. It is really a very welcoming country. Thank you. That's they beautiful. <laughs> that's really beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate for your kind words. And like I said, I wish and I will go to your country someday. And I want to show you your pleasure. culture That's to Brazilians too. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank pleasure. you so much. <laughs>and usually attracts people from various parts of Cuiabá as well as tourists from all over Brazil who are in town. So the term lixo comes from the Cuiabanos jargon representing a warehouse. Então pessoal, agora eu vou experimentar o bobó de galinha. Eu não conheço, eu não sei o que, que é isso aqui. Como que funciona o bobó de galinha? Qual que é? Frango o que que... Desfiado. Frango desfiado. O é. que mais? Creme de leite. Creme de leite. Leite de coco. Leite de coco. Azeite de tendê. Ah, é isso aqui? É, vinho verde, azeitona. Que legal. Ele é também é, considerado um prato típico aqui de Cuiabá? Aqui no Sesc, a gente já estava há 5 anos vendendo. Vendendo ele, bobó de galinha. Olha só que bacana. Como que é o nome da senhora? Dilza. Dilza? É. Ah, tá aí o nome da senhora? Cleonice, vamos conhecer então agora, galera. Olha o que restou do bobó de galinha, já era muito gostoso. Pessoal, ó, tem que experimentar, viu? Se você vier a Cuiabá, tem que experimentar essa gastronomia local aqui de Mato Grosso. This space is open from Tuesday to Sunday, so it's always open after 2 p.m. and it goes until 9 p.m. So the telephone number for the customer service here at Sask Arsenal is 653 não lembro Parece dezembro De um ano Dourado This is it guys This is the end of this special video I hope you have enjoyed And you know the drill To help me You gotta subscribe to my channel And of course share with your friends That's gonna help me a lot Okay guys take care See you on the next video